Hey you guys, so today we're going to be teaching you how to make this vegan cauliflower. Here are the ingredients you're going to need and let's start. You're going to need one head of cauliflower. You're going to flip it right upside down and start cutting off all the leaves as much as you can. Next, you're going to cut the cauliflower into sections to make it easier to work with while removing the extra leaves that you find in between. Now you're going to take each section and cut them into bite-sized pieces. Whatever you feel is comfortable, however big, however small you prefer, just bite-sized. Continue doing this until you're all done with all of your sections. And voila! It should look like that. Go ahead and set it aside. Grab a large mixing bowl. To that you will add two cups of flour. And two cups of vegan milk. Here I'm adding oat milk since we no longer use almond milk, but you can totally use unsweetened almond milk as well. Grab your garlic and pepper. Uh, two teaspoons for garlic powder and one teaspoon for pepper. And then you're just going to go ahead and whisk it up. Here's what it looks like once it's all ready to go. So this is the consistency you want. Next, grab a cookie sheet and line it with foil, and you're going to lay it all down and make sure you wrap the edges of the cookie sheet as well since we're going to put oil on it. Here's the oil, and go ahead and spread it out with your fingers and spread out evenly everywhere. Grab a piece of cauliflower, put it in the batter, and you're going to mix it up in there and toss it around, and basically you're just going to put it on the cookie sheet when you're done. Here's a close-up of what it looks like. You're just going to dip it in the batter, toss it around, make sure it's coated evenly, and then just shake it off to get the rest off. And here's what it looks like. Here's another way you can make the buffalo cauliflower. Again, with a cookie sheet, line it with a foil, and we're going to add some oil, spread it around evenly, and we're going to use gluten-free vegan breadcrumbs. I got this brand at Smith's. Pour that into a bowl and you're going to coat your cauliflower in the batter that we used and then add the breadcrumbs on top of that. Make sure you coat everything evenly so there's no more batter showing. Once there's enough on there, you're just going to shake it off and put on your cookie sheet. Here's what it looks like. Bake at 450 for 24 minutes. In a pot, add three tablespoons of vegan butter. Here I'm using Earth Balance and add two to four tablespoons of maple syrup. Go ahead and add your buffalo sauce, 12 ounces. You can totally use red hot sauce as well. You're gonna add two teaspoons of garlic powder and then stir it up. And once it's brought to a boil, you can set it aside. Here's what everything looks like once it's out of the oven. Now peel the cauliflower and place it into a large bowl. Please make sure to peel carefully and not to have any foil attached to the cauliflowers in this particular step. Now you're going to add half of the sauce mixture to the bowl and you're going to swirl and toss everything around so everything gets coated evenly. Now you're going to place your next tray of cauliflower into a bowl. You can totally use the same one, I just used a different one for the video. Now add the remaining sauce to the bowl and you're going to swirl and toss this as well. It's important to toss because this tossing method helps the cauliflower and the breading stay intact and not fall apart on you as it normally would if you were to mix it with the spoon. And now it's time to plate. 
So here's the batter only version, and then this is the breaded version. It takes a little extra time, but they're both really good actually. You can add some celery, and you can add some carrots and serve with some vegan ranch. I made mine homemade. If you guys are interested in that video, comment down below and let me know. Make sure you guys screenshot this page for easy access on your phone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.